Hey guys, uh, RK Gamer here, and I just thought I'd um, share with you the pickups that I've had uh, or gotten recently. Uh, first off, though, a bit of housekeeping. We all have to say goodbye to the uh, the flip Mino HD here. Um, this unfortunately last night died on me while I was trying to make this video. Um, me and my girlfriend had had a lot of like battery issues with it in the f in, uh, like before trying to use it. Um, it's it's a reported case actually. A lot of people have said that um, like they'll try and charge it and they'll get a full charge and it'll show a charge light, but then when they try and turn it on, I mean they just they just get nothing. And this was working the night before, and before I started making the video the night before, um, I had about. I think it was like half battery, and then all of a sudden, about three minutes in, it started saying low battery, low battery. It's, it's over. Sorry. And I was just like, ah, oh, okay. So, thought it was just a weird issue. Um, decided to try and charge it up that whole night, and then came to it this morning. And it just wouldn't turn on or anything. Um, there is a fix for it, which apparently has worked for some people. But I don't know if this is a more recent model because some of those things just didn't really make sense to what was actually going on in the internals of here. Um, but basically there's like a battery and there is something that touches the battery and that is the way that the power is, is crossed and in Minos especially, um, to say this is the battery and this is the, um, the circuit board, normally it should be like that and it, uh, over time or, or something it kind of just starts to do this and you don't really get that connection as well as you need to. The most unfortunate thing though is this is a limited edition uh, Gorillas one which uh, my girlfriend got for going to see the gorillas that she bought a special ticket and they gave these out so unfortunately we've got to say goodbye to the uh, the flip Mino HD here but sorry about the sniffling by the way I have a, I have a bit of a sniffly sniffly nose today uh, but thankfully I did fish out this this camera which I bought a very long time ago and um, yeah, I, I, I can't remember how much I spent on this camera, but um, the one thing which put me off ever using this camera again after learning actually what HD was is the two settings on this camera are SP for standard play or something like that, and then HQ for high quality. And, you know, using terms like HQ as opposed to HD it doesn't really throw that point across, so I just thought it was kind of... It wasn't HD, but they could get away with saying HQ. So I fished this camera out, uh, made a short video and looked at it, and sure enough, it's 720p, so... Goodbye, this camera, and we'll go back to this camera, which... It might actually be better, it's got a better zoom and everything, so... But, onward to pickups. I've put these in order of importance. The most least coming first, because I think... I think this pickups video is going to be a good one. First up, we have the Scorpion King, Rise of the Acadian, Acadian, Acadian. We'll go with Acadian. Yeah, um, never played this. Watched the first film, maybe, but never really saw anything past that point. Um, not much to say. I mean, I looked at the screenshots on the back, and this looks pretty fucking terrible. I mean, I mean, look at that, wow. Who knows though, there is a massive picture of The Rock. Sorry, Dwayne. Um, tagline. Experience the adventure that started it all. The Big Bang. It's uh, all complete there. And you know, it's in the collection. It needs to be, obviously, because I'm going for complete, so. Scorpion King. Next up, if you'd had enough of FIFA, well, we've got some more FIFA, FIFA 2004. This rounds out now all of the FIFA games, except for FIFA Street and FIFA Street 2, so not all of the FIFA games. Um, number one, selling football series here. There's not much I can say about this, really. It's it's FIFA. I've had so many of these on pickup videos. All of, every time I've just been like, FIFA. I think on the first one I had a story to say about it, and that wasn't even the game that I had a story to tell on it. So FIFA anyway, uh, comes complete. Uh, tagline, create brilliance. I shall. I've just noticed here as well, there's a Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance logo here for for connectivity. Does it say here on it? Oh, 
Link with Game Boy Advance. Unlock rewards to improve management skills and accelerate your career. Interesting. I was looking for an SP um, this weekend, actually, in Birmingham. Because me and my girlfriend wanted to play a game which is in this pickups video. I almost slipped up then. And I wanted to play a game which is in this pickups video, and we didn't actually get one. I've been looking out for ones that have actually got that little logo on, because I'm interested to see how um, these games use it. I think it's a really interesting uh, idea to try and throw that in. But anyway, FIFA 2004, it's in there. Next up. We have a kind of two-parter. Um, let me just uh, split it up into what it was. So, I found two auctions on eBay. And... Uh, Let's just go in. Pokemon Coliseum. I found uh, this as an auction. Now, I'm obviously being anal and I wanted it to be complete. And to be complete, it must include the memory card. 59 slot memory card. Uh, this one did not have that. Uh, but it was also going for ridiculously cheap. So, this is the state. I got it in. The memory card, as you can see down there. And yeah, so I was like, uh, it's really cheap, yeah, and I want it, but I want the memory card as well. Then I found this auction. Which is a DS case and a Pokemon memory card. Now, I can't remember exactly if he actually posted up that it was a Pokemon memory card um, on the listing, but regardless, this was also going for dirt cheap, this auction. This was also listed as broken. I've been forceful enough with it now to know that it is not broken. This, this is fine. This, but no one's ever going to buy this. <laughs> and the guy was probably thinking, "Why is this guy buying a DS case and a you know memory card off me, fool?" Um, but yeah, so I got the Pokemon memory uh, memory card, which um, is basically a normal memory card with this sticker on it, which yeah, you just gotta love collecting. So we get this. We put this, oh god, we put this in here, the right way up. We have a complete game there. We get this, and we throw that away, because no one's ever going to want to see that again. And we have a complete Pokemon Coliseum. Look at that! Look. A few steps. Step one, step two, step question mark, Pokemon Coliseum. Complete. Tagline, we have two here. Story mode, gotta save them all. Cool. Battle mode, worlds collide. Awesome. Um, never played this when it came out. I did play a lot of Pokemon Stadium, and I do not know why. Because as a child, when I originally got Pokemon Stadium, I was, I was so, I wasn't pissed off. I was just disappointed. I was expecting some kind of, I don't know. When you're a child at that point, knowing that Pokemon is going to be in 3D, your mind is just like, oh my god, Pokemon 3D. That's awesome. Of course, I'm going to want to do this. Then you get the game and you realize it is literally a battle. And that is it. There's not much else to do. They even kind of give you that extra jab by letting you play your Game Boy game in Pokemon Stadium as a Game Boy game. I mean, what the fu Luckily with this, though, it does say it has a story mode. So I would be interested, to say the least, to, to see what they try and do with it. Because Pokemon as a concept, I do not think is a bad idea as, a, as, a, as an initial concept. Scrap away the idea that there's like monsters and, and whatever. The idea of one person having multiple things to battle with and being able to switch out that team is, is that's a good concept. So, Pokemon Coliseum, it's in there. Next up, one of the Capcom 5, which I was going to make a video on, may still do. Beautiful Joe. I've played this. I played it on the PS2, ironically, despite this being a uh, GameCube exclusive to a degree with the Capcom 5. Um, I really enjoyed it. This is a really good game. This it feels really good to play. Uh, the levels are well thought out. It's got a lot of style. 93%. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, Beautiful Joe comes complete. Nice pink manual. Uh, tagline. Lights, camera, action, action... Max speed, zoom in, slow down. Oh wait, no, I, I saw action, action. Is is that the tagline or is that a caption for that picture and is this a caption for that? 
lights, camera, action, action, max speed, zoom in, or lights, camera, action, 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 max speed, zoom in, slow down. Uh, so yeah, beautiful Joe, it's in there. Um, how many of the, I've got two of the Capcom 5 now. I might just get the other two. I know that mounts up to four, but if you saw, you know, if you knew what the Capcom 5 was all about, you'd know that only four of the Capcom 5 actually came out. So, beautiful jokes in there. Now we get on to, oh no, not, we don't get on to some of the big players yet, but we get on to one which I'm very glad I have now Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. I love uh, Rogue Squadron 2. I've said that in a previous video. Rogue Squadron 2 is. I think it was like one of the first games I ever played on the GameCube. Um, and I was having this conversation with someone I knew the other day. The GameCube era for me, despite me being heavily into it, is kind of a blur. I can't remember a lot about it. Um, I remember playing Luigi's Mansion. I remember playing my game, my GameCube, the day it came out because my, my dad was at home. He had a day off work and this big box came for me. And I had my GameCube and I was like, oh, Luigi's Mansion. Anything past that point, I don't even really remember. I mean,. I played another game that I'm going to talk about in a sec today, and I I couldn't remember anything of it, despite me knowing I had a really good time with it. It's weird, it's kind of like drugs. Um, forgetful GameCube drugs, yeah. So, Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3, really looking forward to playing this. I think I played a... Yeah, again, I might have even completed this back in the day, I can't quite remember. Uh, it's got the Game Boy Advance link thing there again, which would be interesting. Is Does it say... Does it say what it multiplayer gaming includes rampage tag dogfight? No, I'll have to I'll have to do like a special um, GameCube gameplay video of just these games with um, with the Game Boy Advance thing in. Uh, comes complete anyway. With quite a big bulky manual. Just yeah, just have to double check that said three. I never actually checked that disc. Uh, tagline: Strike against the evil empire. Exclamation mark. So strike against the evil. Yeah, you get the idea. Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. Now we get on to the big boys. This is when the collection starts to, to properly take off. It didn't cost me a lot. Neither of these two didn't really cost me a lot. But if you prowl eBay for, for GameCube games, you know these games can go overpriced. I think it's just for people getting frustrated because you can get to like the six or seven pound mark and then someone gives like seven pound at a penny and you're like <laughs> so there I think there are some people that just kind of say right I want this game how much are you willing to pay 100 pounds I'm having this game today um, but thankfully I got this on a buy it now really cheap um, and that game is Mario Kart Double Dash we finally have it in the collection um, I would say it's a glaring omission but I've only been collecting for about two months so for this to come around at this point is great uh, yeah Double Dash didn't play this really didn't want to either um, I remember seeing this game in um, a Nintendo 64 magazine and seeing that there was two players and for some reason that little design edition was enough to make me never want to play Mario Kart ever again to be honest um, the Wii one even for me didn't really do it I, th I thought it did but it didn't um, SNES one, excellent, N64 one, great, just this double dash thing, it just doesn't really feel like a Nintendo thing to stick two dudes on a, on a th I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, it's in there anyway, um, comes complete, and in the red box, I really wanted to get the red box one because, I don't know, I just really wanted to get the red box one, uh, tagline, double the fun, let's hope, and we've got a broadband connector here, I think our first broadband connector symbol because you can actually link up I think it's eight game cubes together to play this game which would be Jesus Christ let's do math together eight game cubes and four people on each game cube but there's two t it's it's a lot of game cubes and a lot of players um, so yeah Mario Kart Double Dash and finally woo finally what I've been playing for a good majority of today with my girlfriend. I, I don't know how to really kind of introduce this game except just to throw it down. I got it at a really good price, a price that I deem really good. Um, 
it's not exactly how I would want it, but it's it's enough. And that is Zelda Wind Waker. Limited edition including two game bonus disc. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, limited edition, what more could you want? All oh, this this is it, this is this is this is the one. I didn't I wanted the gold case, guys. I really wanted the gold case. I'm fine without it. I really am. Uh, the second it came through, because I didn't ask if it had a gold case, I just asked about the condition, the discs, the manual, is it PAL, is it, you know, all good. Didn't ask about the case. I knew after I bought it that I didn't ask, and I thought, you know what, whatever comes through, as long as the contents and everything is cool, I'm fine with that. I do not need the gold case. And it didn't come through with the gold case, and I was fine with it. But, yeah, Zelda, Wind Waker. I remember sinking a ridiculous amount of hours into this game. I don't remember anything of what I actually did, though. When I actually got onto the sailing parts, um, as I was playing it today, I do remember having a, a, like a big nostalgia hit there, a big nostalgia punch to the face, thinking, I used to love sailing, I used to love going around filling in my map, and I used to love um, like hunting for treasure and, and finding the fish and getting him to draw on your map. Um, but the one big thing I remember about this game was, and this will be for people who, who have played it, it's not a spoiler really, but the black and white Hyrule section with the Master Sword, when you go down, that's that's special. That is that is a special moment in the, in the Zelda franchise. And yeah, it's it's Zelda Wind Waker. I, I, enough people have said stuff about this, and I, I, I'm sure I can't really add to what they've said. Um, comes complete both discs uh, tagline an evil wind is blowing and this is what me and my girlfriend wanted the Game Boy Advance for uh, or the Game Boy SP and that was to play Tingle with Zelda because she did not know that that was a thing and when I told her she she's gonna tell me off for swearing but she nearly flipped her shit knowing that one of us could be Tingle and one of us could be playing as Link. Um, second tagline, tagline here for Ocarina of Time and the Master Quest. The rebirth of a legend and a true hero's challenge, which is apt. Very apt. So yeah, Zelda Wind Waker, it's in there. And that's it for the, uh, the collection update. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, you can follow me at, uh, at Arcade Gamer on Twitter and if you wanted to go to it's it's all gonna be down here it's all gonna be why am I even telling you it's like you see this this stuff here I'm probably like itching it this this just this stuff you want to you want more you want to find out more just down here right thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time don't know what that was but